Welcome in everyone to Picks and Parlays Better's Edge. We have a bit of a different setup today, but uh, we are still here to give you some picks because it is NFL Wild Card Weekend. We've got some exciting matchups to talk about. We're going to start with the games on Saturday. First and foremost, we're going to be looking at the Browns and Texans. The Cleveland Browns right now are a two and a half point favorite heading into Houston. Houston and CJ Stroud sort of squeaked this one out, if you will. So that being said, Pony, do you like the Browns in this one with the way that the Texans might have just made their way in based off of last game? I do like Cleveland, Hannah. Uh, This is weird. I can't like look you in the eye and you know, give you a quizzical look now every time you make your picks because we're all remote, but that's okay. We'll get through it here. Um, I like Cleveland. I think a lot is being made of the quarterback change for Houston from the last time these two teams played. And look, there is a huge gap between Case Keenum and C.J. Stroud, so that is going to be a big benefit to Houston. But uh, their defense could not stop the Browns' offense when these two teams played a few weeks ago. In fact, Amari Cooper had the best game by a Cleveland Browns receiver ever. Uh, We saw that happen. So I look at this matchup and I think Joe Flacco's history in the playoffs is excellent. He doesn't seem to get too overwhelmed in these situations. He had that great playoff run going back now 11 years, but go year by year. This guy's had no issue going into places like New England and winning playoff games, Pittsburgh, Denver with Peyton Manning. Even though he's 38 years old, I trust him more. And I believe in the Browns defense more than the Houston defense when it comes to getting key stops in this game. I am going to lay the low number with the Browns and take them to win another playoff game. Yeah, I actually like the Browns too, which is weird. As a Steelers fan sitting here rooting for the Browns in the playoffs, I don't know if that's illegal in some way. But Pony, for similar reasons that you talked about, I feel like the Cleveland Browns coming into this game are actually the more well-rounded team, especially when you look defensively. We talked about Joe Flacco and his playoff experience. I think that's going to play a big role in this one. And the Browns are giving up the least amount of yards per game in the entire league right now. So the Texans are going to have their hands full. And though we saw C.J. Stroud, he was fantastic. He was blowing up. He was the topic on social media when he just played last weekend. But I think he's going to have his hands full with that Browns defense. So I'm going to go ahead and take the Browns straight up. It might not be the best value just taking them straight up, but I'll take them straight up in this one. I don't want the Browns to brown on me in this one, but... I'll say the Browns straight up money line. That's what I like. So, Craig, are you going to go ahead and uh, go against everybody here? Are you going to go with C.J. Stroud and the Texans? I, it's it's hard for me to play on the side on this game because I just worry that Joe Flacco, he, he really has not um, hurt this team as, as of yet. And maybe he's even helped the team. He steadied the Browns as far as now you're not trying to win games with Joe Flacco. You're trying to play to your strength, which is that great defense in the run game. Um, I think you play the under here. I, I just think this screams, you know, 16-13, 17-13 type game. Um, I just don't see either team really scoring a lot of points. I think Houston's defense has been, as much as C.J. Stroud has gotten all the attention, this Houston defense uh, with Coach Ryan, uh, Ryan there taking over, I, I, it's really been – I think an underrated, maybe out of all the playoff teams, maybe the team that gets the least, the side of the ball that gets the least uh, value that should get more. So I'm going to take the under here. I think Houston's defense will do plenty. And I think Cleveland's defense continues to just uh, be one of the best defenses we've seen in years and years and years. Well, another team that we need to see, is it just going to be all defense as it has been this year? Surprisingly, when you hear a name like Patrick Mahomes, you expect this Chiefs offense to be the topic of conversation. Something you typically can't do, though, is count out the Kansas City Chiefs when it comes to the playoffs. This is typically when they're playing their best football, and then we're in the Super Bowl, and we're talking all about the Kansas City Chiefs. However, they're playing against the Dolphins. And this line has moved. Yesterday was three and a half. I was loving that line. Now it's at four. It scares me a little bit at that four number. I liked it better at three and a half. But the Dolphins being a three and a half point underdog with Tyreek Hill making his return to Kansas City in the playoffs. Craig, can he and the Miami Dolphins get it done? Or will Patrick Mahomes and the Chiefs prevail in the playoffs? I mean, see if you've heard this story before. The Dolphins are banged up heading into the playoffs, just like last year. Now, granted... 
Uh, this year, it's not the quarterback, which is which is a positive because I don't think uh, they have an answer um, without it. But they can't just outscore teams. Um, and against the Chiefs team at home with, you know, they rested several of their starters, so they're healthy. I know Kansas City offense has been terrible, but it's really been the turnover bug. Uh, I mean, going all the way back, you remember the Chiefs uh, losing against the Eagles. It was because they, they moved the ball. They just couldn't they, – they turned the ball over in the red zone. Um, I think the Chiefs fixed that. I like the Chiefs minus three and a half, minus four, wherever you get it at. I just think uh, the Dolphins – I mean, the Dolphins played great last week at home, and Buffalo still handled them. So I don't think on the road um, in colder weather that this Miami team is going to have any, an answer. I'm going to double down on that. And for the last fact that you just said, the cold weather actually might play a huge role in this game. I like the Chiefs at that four number. I'm going to take them there because Tua does not do well in cold weather games. Here's a fact for you guys. When kickoff temperature is 45 degrees or colder, Tua Tagovailoa is 0-4 with a 71 passer rating. So if he does not do well with the cold temperatures, even at the beginning of the game, and trying to strategize what they can do with these injuries, Patrick Mahomes and Kansas City at home can run away with this game rather early if they want to. They also always have a comeback factor inside of them. So I'm going to say because of the cold weather, because of Kansas City's defense and how well they played, I think the Chiefs come out hot in this one. I think the Chiefs get it done. Pony, can you can you jump on board with us here? I think the Dolphins are built more for cold weather than they've ever been. Uh, even going back to when they had Dan Marino at quarterback and they couldn't go to places like Buffalo and win playoff games and never won a Super Bowl with him at the helm because this team is, is in my opinion, the best running team in the entire NFL. We even saw that in the game against Buffalo Sunday night. Achan had over 100 yards and was almost like eight yards a carry. And so we'll see about getting Mostert back and Waddle in the passing game is another threat that you need to think about. If those guys get healthy, then I I like the Dolphins to win the game outright. If they don't, I'm still very comfortable getting the four points. You know, I've divorced myself from thinking that the Chiefs are just going to be able to flip a switch. Their defense has been great, but I do think that in this matchup of Dolphins run versus Chiefs run defense, I would favor Miami to get the job done there. Uh, Kansas City scored one offensive touchdown Mm -hmm. against Cincinnati two weeks ago. They kicked six field goals. I mean, that's not going to get it done here in this game. The week before that, we saw what happened against the Raiders where they lost to a team that didn't have a completion after the first quarter. Uh, Travis Kelsey, to me, doesn't look right. Didn't get 1,000 yards receiving. Patrick Mahomes had 14 interceptions this year. I just think Kansas City's right for the picking and you have the added element of the revenge factor for Tyree Kill. You know, he'll have a great game. So I like Miami to go in there and, and uh, pull the upset, but I will take the four points. I won't bet all my money on the money line, Hannah. I'm going to take Miami plus four. All right, two Chiefs, one Dolphins. We'll see who comes out on tops in that one. Uh, don't forget, everyone, if you want more of our picks, download that Picks and Parlays app. These are just the Saturday games. We've got so much more that you don't want to miss. <laughs> 